Hello and welcome back to the channel. We finally have decent clay nights here in the UK. One after another, we'll say, to an extent. Two, three days, a week of crap, another two, three days. So tonight's meant to be very clear. I think we're down to around 2% for total cloud cover, according to clear nights. Um, sky up. So tonight I'm going for one which is pretty low on the horizon. It barely clears the top of them hedges there. So it should be in this direction. It's just uh, so south is basically around here and it's just past. Because of that, and it's a quite a small object, well smallish. The big 200 p is still out. I need the focal length. Again, this is another object I've never managed to actually capture. Um, I tried it some years ago when I got the 200p, but because it's low on the horizon and the light pollution, it was difficult. But now because I've got that SV Boney 220 filter, I should be able to pick it up. So we shall see. So if you're new to the channel, um, this is my setup. And the telescope I'm using tonight is the Skywatcher 200p, which is an 8 inch Newtonian telescope with a focal length of 1000 millimeters. For camera wise, I'm using the SV Boney 405 cord camera. And some of you keen eyed people might have noticed I have a new little box just here. This is a mini PC. I picked up from eBay. Um, it has two USB hubs on top. This one is normally populated with a flash drive. I brought a 256 gig flash drive. Um, so when I'm running Nina, it goes straight to the flash drive, not to the mini PC. And it has underneath, I don't know if you can see, it's got two HDMI outs, Ethernet, and two more USB 3.0 ports. It also comes with the bracket, which you can, you attach yourself. Um, I just put some wall plugs between the vent holes as you can see, in the disc brakes, which fit perfect, screwed it in, and it's borderline stable, it's not really going anywhere. Also comes with the power supply, and all this, for the low, low price of £65, posted. So I'm not burning at that. So I'm running Nina on the PC. Um, no guiding or anything. Um, this mount just refuses, plain and simple. So can't test that. I'm going to see how it goes. So far running Nina is fun. There's no problems at all. Um, it is running Windows 11, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to give it a month or so, and we shall see how it works. Talking of mounts, it does work, but I'm looking for an upgrade now. So, I just need to try and save up some money, basically. And I'm looking at picking up, hopefully, the new Skywatcher One Wave 100i. That's the one I'm looking at. Because um, for the price, and compared to the EQ6 R Pro, it's not far off the same price. And this is newer technology. It just makes more sense. But I just need to save up. Let's see how this image goes. Okay. 